Hey Rack on Beer viewers, another review of the AMA American Collaboration Line 2019. I said 2019 really weird there, or at least it sounded weird in my head. Um, <laughs> all right, I've had a, I've had a couple of, uh, we're doing these reviews stacked on top of each other, so they're going to get a bit more loopy as they go on, I think. But uh, anyway, if you haven't watched any of the other uh, reviews, take a look at those. They'll be, I'll link them in the description, I think, and maybe there'll be some kind of like card that comes out or maybe a seizure inducing uh, box or something that YouTube will let me make. But anyway, <clears throat> if you don't know, then, oh, I can see that the, oh, was the camera gonna die? Ugh. All right, we are back. Sorry about the uh, technical issues. The battery has changed. The SD card is <coughs> unfilled, refilled, unfilled, defilled. Um, it's emptied. And uh, yeah, now we can get on with this uh, this review. And this is the review of Ancient Dinosaurs. The let me let me get you a little let me get you a little close up of that. This is Ancient Dinosaurs Dry Hopped Fake Session IPA, and this is kind of the one I've been, like, this was the one I was the most excited about. Um, uh, I was excited that there was going to be a Michigan brewery um, included, but, uh, like, from a brewing standpoint, this was the one I was most excited about. And this is a, this is a collaboration with Half Acre from Chicago. Very well-known brewery for making some really good hoppy beers, so... Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, this is a uh, Dry Hop Fake Session IPA. It's made with Pilsner and Carapils and Wheat Malt. Um, and it is Columbus, Citra, and Simcoe. And it just says Fake for yeast. So I don't know what strain they used. But, <clears throat> you know... If you are a fan of the homebrewing part of this channel, which I'm sure you are, um, you know that uh, the fake yeast is like my new obsession. I'm it's basically all all I brew with in the last little while here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really taking brewing by storm. So it'll be cool. This is actually my only my second beer I think I've ever had with. Um, uh, commercial beer, I'm sorry, with fake yeast. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm just excited to get into it. I'm excited, you guys. Can you tell? I'm excited. I'm super excited. There we go. No, that is hazy. Look how hazy it is. I'm going to do this a few more times so you know that I'm serious about how hazy this is. It is, that is crazy hazy. Um... Yeah, like a yellowish orange color, like a fruit juice, multi fruit juice, unfiltered color, with a with a great big old head on it. It looks it looks delicious. Ooh, it smells delicious too. You know what? Mmm. So we're talking about session IPA. What are we What are we sitting at here? We're talking about five percent. So that's like that's like the high end of session. That's an imperial session. When I think about session, I think about like 3.5% to 5%. So this is like Imperial Session Ale. But um, yeah. Oh, lots of, lots of Citra and Simcoe on the nose. That kind of resiny dankness of, uh, with the, with a really bright citrus aroma from Citra. Um, you know what? Because Columbus is in there, I'm going to say it's dank. It's dank. It's a little bit dank. It's not that dank. It's not dank. Anyway, uh, it smells really nice. It smells, it's got a... Um, Ama kind of has this kind of house smell, is what I'm going to I'm gonna kind of say. They have this, um, when, they, when they do a big fresh, when I get a fresh Ama beer, it's got that Ama smell. And that's, um, they, yeah, and that's, that's what I've got. It's like a mixed fruit basket with some little bit of pine in it and 
like citrus, like a citrus basket with pine, made of pine. I think I've already used that analogy. This is very, very citrusy though in the background. But I, yeah. And I'm guessing that that cake just, uh, just kind of elevates that, um, especially the citra that kind of, um, you, you get a lot of fruitiness out of the cake usually, depending on your fermentation uh, temperature. I mean, it's a very hoppy smelling beer. I don't get a lot of like yeast notes from it, but I would guess that they're they're basically just, you know, like cohabitating together in my nose, in my nostrils. All right, let's, let's get a drink here. That is, that's very good. Very, very light body. Um, you can definitely tell it's a session beer because it's very watery. Sounds like a negative descriptor, but it's got that very low alcohol, very high attenuation um, kind of mouthfeel to it. There's a lot less, um, I think you're getting a lot more of the Simcoe and the Columbus in the, um, in the flavor because there's a lot less of that bright fruitiness and there's a lot more of that kind of, um, kind of more danky pine. Not, it's not piney at all. It's like, um, it's like if a pine tree instead of pine cones, it, it made like lemons. Do you know what I mean? Like, like if you had a pine lemon, um, the pine is, is, or it's, it's not really even pine is, is a bad descriptive word for it. It's that kind of, yeah, that old school kind of dank, um, columbus -y centennial type flavor mixed with some very bright citrus. Um, I actually get more citrus now that I, I just took that drink. Yeah, like I said, it's got a very thin body. Um, yeah. I would have thought that the hop flavor would be a bit richer, judging from how it's kind of just bursting out of the glass in the aroma. <laughs> but the flavor is a bit more, a bit more subdued. It doesn't have that. It's a very intense aroma and a very like very light and and nice um, uh, flavor. Not bitter at all. Uh, very low bitterness. I would say that this is a little bit above what you're used to in maybe a New England IPA. It's a bit above the um, the sabotaged that I just um, that I just reviewed but uh, nowhere near like normal IPA. And I mean, there's, there's really two ways that you can go with a session IPA. There's, you can, you can make it bitter to, um, to kind of cover up that, uh, that, that kind of low mouthfeel, that very thin, uh, low alcohol mouthfeel, or you can absolutely blow it out with hops and give it a, like a really highly hopped flavor and that's definitely the way that this one is so i mean this is a this I'm, i am crushing this like all of the all of the hoppy beers so far i have absolutely destroyed and this one might actually be i'm i'm holding back like it's it's like that you know that comic where it's uh, beer i'm not addicted to beer beer is addicted to me you can just kind of see it trying to get at me here Yeah, that is a summer crusher right there. I'm I'm really happy with this one. Um, the the fake yeast um, is kind of taking a back um, <clears throat> kind of a back seat to the hops, <coughs> but again, this this beer is literally only a couple weeks old. So this is one of the ones that I'm I'm looking forward to trying a few more times over the next few months and seeing like where it goes where it ends up. 
um, if that if that kind of like highly hopped um, like super fresh hoppiness kind of fades out a little bit and you get a little bit more yeast character to it but I'm not even sure you'll be able to notice because cake can be so fruity in and of itself but um, yeah this is a definitely I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm super stoked about the um, the level of the beers this year. Uh, all three of these so far, I've been able to. Um, I look back at the beers behind me. All three, I can recommend. I can highly recommend this, especially like if you can get it fresh now. But I would actually recommend getting this like end of summer, early September. Let the let the green hops, let the super fresh dry hop uh, in it. Um, fade out a little bit and maybe it'll you know what maybe I'll even do another I'll do another review of it in a couple months. I don't know. I like it Ancient dinosaurs half acre and Amar you cannot go wrong Blam recommended highly recommended ultra recommended Thanks to half acre. Thanks to Ama. I mean not like they gave me these beers. I paid for them, but but thanks for making it uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to drink it, and thanks to you guys for watching me drink it. I've got a couple more, three more. We're about halfway. We're in the we're in the the halfway mark of uh, so uh, we'll be seeing you soon with the next one. Cheers.